After explaining the differences between public and private subnets, let's think. How can my resources in public subnets exit the VPC and communicate with the internet? Do I need any extra component in my VPC for that to happen? Indeed. You need some sort of a gateway or a router for this functionality. The name of that gateway for this purpose is called IGW, or Internet Gateway. The IGW is a software component that you create within your VPC. It doesn't belong to any subnet, but rather, remains attached to the border of the VPC. It serves as a gateway for all public subnets in that VPC. One final step is needed, you have to adjust the routing tables of your public subnets, point to the created IGW and specify it as your default route to the internet. Now, all traffic destinations outside of the IP address range of your VPC would become reachable through the IGW. What about my private resources in my private subnets? Do you think, at any point in time, they would need an internet connection? Internet? For private resources? I believe some of you, now, are getting confused. Let me explain. I do not mean that my resources in the private subnets are reachable from the internet. I do not mean that someone from outside can initiate a connection to them. No, definitely this is not possible. This is not what I meant. What I meant was, there are some scenarios where your private resources might need to initiate a connection to the internet, maybe to download an update or a security patch. How can we let that happen? Well, you need another gateway of another type. You need a NAT gateway. NAT is short for Network Address Translation. If you do not have strong network background, NAT refers to the process that happens in everyone's network when your traffic needs to traverse the internet. You need to convert your private IP to a public IP that can be used over the internet, you need someone to do the translation. In our case here, you need to create a NAT gateway in your VPC and place it in one or more of your public subnets. After that, adjust the routing tables of your private subnets so that your NAT gateway becomes the default route for any other traffic outside the VPC. Traffic will be initiated from your resources then routed to the NAT gateway. Address translation occurs. Then NAT gateway forwards the traffic to the IGW. Then to the internet.